Okay, Ryan. I'm going to be asking you some questions. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. Do you have any siblings? If so, how many? I have one sister named Nina, and she's in the seventh grade on the PT. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have one. His name is Milo. He's, he is two years old, and he's very crazy. What do you do in your spare time? I take photos of scenery, and I film it as well. That's interesting. What kind of things do you like to film about? Uh, nature scenery, like ocean, and like water, like ponds. What sports are you interested in? I uh, football and I with the Patriots. That's pretty much what me and my dad do, obviously, the weekend. Fun. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. Are you ready to be interviewed? Yes. Okay, how many siblings do you have? I have five siblings, four boys and one girl. Daniel's 21. Abby's 17, Jojo's 10, Michael's 7, and Thomas is 2. Wow, we have six children. That must stink. So, yeah. do you do any extracurricular activities? I used to do dance at Sam's Dance Academy, but I quit a couple months ago. Like, what's it like being a dancer? It's fun, but it's also challenging getting to know the dancers so quickly. Cool. Hey, Grace, are you ready to get interviewed? Yes. How much siblings do you have? I have a brother named Nick. He's 16 and he's a junior at Stephens West. Cool. Do you have any pets? I have a cat in Kirby. That's cool. What's your favorite subject in school? I like history and science and art. That's cool. What sports do you play? I play field hockey, ice hockey, and lacrosse. That's cool. So, all right, what's it like being on a team with me? Lovely. I love Grace. <laughs> she always does my hair. She's a great goalie. Um, what's it like playing hockey with me? Challenging. No, I'm joking. Um, it's nice. She's a good defender. She's really athletic. Thank you. Thank you. What was one of your favorite memories playing baseball and why? One of my favorite memories was going to Cooperstown and one of the reasons was because we did really good. There was about 104 teams and we came in 17th place. And another thing that was really fun was pin trading. What was one of your major accomplishments in baseball? One of my major accomplishments was making the sandwich a all-star team every single year. What position did you play? I played a lot of positions. I usually play second base, third base, and pitcher. What was your favorite position? My favorite position was probably second base because I got a lot of the action, and it was, it was very fun. Does any of your family members play baseball or softball? My brother plays baseball my, and, my two, and my two sisters play softball, so we're a baseball and softball family. So, yeah. Hello, Mr. Duffney. How are you today? Well, any better. I couldn't stand it. Thank you for asking. Now, what do you think about Sean Leonard? I'm sorry. One, one, one second. Hello. Uh, phone, my phone's ringing. Uh, I, oh, I can't talk right now. No. <clears throat> I, I'm in an interview. I'll, I'll call you later. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Like I was saying, now what do you think of Sean Landry as a student? Sean Landry, where should I begin? He's a delightful young man, very diligent worker, he's very thorough, he's a very deep thinker. He enjoys things like quantum mechanics and math. He is really a delight to have in class. Do you think Sean is better than his sister Ashley? Absolutely. The attack that was perpetrated on my room last year by Sean's sister Ashley and her compatriots was disgusting and um, it's, it's left a lasting mark on my soul. Do you think you had more good memories or bad memories with her? Bad, for sure. Um, really, the, the one moment last year where my room was attacked and vandalized stands out and I, just, I can't let it go. It's just, it's, so, it's just so, so hurtful. I know you played hockey, but did you play any other sports? Absolutely. I played uh, baseball competitively. Uh, I, I played hockey since I was four years old, uh, but I enjoy all sports. 
um, especially team sports, sports like football, soccer, hockey, baseball, those are all enjoyable to me. Now, a question everyone has been waiting for an answer to is why do you hate glitter? Well, isn't it obvious? Glitter is dirty, it carries disease, it attracts wild animals like bears and wolves, and do you really want them here at the school? We need to outlaw it, ban it, just like I've done in my room, for everyone's sake, for everyone's protection. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say? How about this? How long have you been participating in plays? I've been doing it for two years. Where did you work on the plays? At the Henry Twing School. Can you tell us the plays that you did? In fifth grade, I did the play Annie, and in sixth grade, I did the play Peter Pan. Which play did you enjoy the most of all? I can't decide because they were both so fun, and I like performing the plays and practicing them. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Bitter. How has your day been going so far? Thanks for asking. It's actually been a wonderful day. What are some things that you enjoy doing? I like reading. I like writing. I like spending time with my family. Um, I also like going on vacation. I love Disney World. It's my favorite place to go. Why did you decide to be a teacher? When I was in seventh grade, I had a very um, interesting seventh grade English teacher. And I think she is an inspiration and a role model and that is one of the reasons I became a teacher because I had so much fun in her class and I wanted to continue to be able to read and write my entire life. What are some things that you enjoy teaching? I actually enjoy teaching pretty much anything. Um, I've taught math before, I've taught science, but I think the most fun I have is teaching reading and teaching writing. How is Tareem as a student? Tareem is a diligent young lady. She's very quiet during class. Um, what do you think is interesting about her? I think because she's so quiet, she sort of intrigues me because I'd like to get to know her better and figure out more about who she is as a person. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. How long have you been friends with Tareem? Uh, six years. How did you meet each other? Um, First grade. Uh, I think we sat at the same lunch table. I don't know. What's one thing that, you, that describes Tran? Um, she's weird. Why do you hang out with Tran? She's a good friend. <laughs> what makes her fun to hang out with? You laugh about stuff. I'm good. Today's been a busy day, but I'm doing well. Is it fun or interesting to talk to Tariq? It's both fun and interesting. I, um, I love talking to all students here because I like hearing about, um, I don't know, what STEM is like from a student perspective, but I really enjoy talking to Tareem because she has some interesting perspectives and um, I don't know, cares a lot about her friends and the people around her, so it's fun to talk to her. What is one characteristic that you think drives, describes Tariq? Tareem is very, um, she's people oriented, like she has a really good sense of how the people around her feel and think. She's really, um, she, I think she reads people well, so she has a good understanding of um, how she can help others around her. And what do you think is interesting about her? Um, I was recently just talking to Tareem about her extended family in Pakistan. They have a really cool house there and she loves going to visit and see all of her extended family, which I think is pretty incredible. All right, thank you. Hello, Ms. Thanks, Mills. Guys. How are you doing? Good, how are you? We're good. Okay. So, Ms. Mills, what do you think of Victoria as a student? Having Victoria in class was a pleasure. Um, she's very conscientious, so she was always um, really, really focused in her artwork, um, which was a great quality. Did Victoria have potential as an as a art student? Definitely, yes. Um, I remember some of your work, especially the dragon that you did, the pen and ink, right? Um, 
that was phenomenal. You're really good at drawing textures and using the pen and ink. Also with watercolor too. She did really well. What was your favorite memory of her and her class Blue Bee from last year? Oh yeah, Blue Bee. That was a crazy class. It was. We had some rough patches in the beginning, but um, by the end I actually really liked that class. It was high energy, but not in a bad way. At the end of the semester it was high energy in a good way. Um, I had some good memories with Victoria and the uh, art gallery team as well, so that was good. What was your favorite piece of art that you saw Victoria draw? Hmm. Let me think. The fi I mean, the one that sticks out the most to me is the pen and ink, the dragon that she did. It was awesome. Anything else you would like to say? That I hope she goes to art school one day, <laughs> if she can. It would be great. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Hello, Victoria. Hello. How's your day? Good. In your group of friends, what are you called? The wise one. Why? Well, because my friends say I'm more damaged than the others, but then when it comes to helping them, I get, I have a lot of wise things to say to them. What do you like to do? I usually draw a lot. What inspired you to draw? My father. He was, um, he kind of started when he was young, and then I decided to follow after him because he didn't ever continue, I did. What's your number one thing to do before you die? <clears throat> Probably become an artist and help out my friends and help out people. What was your favorite thing that you ever drew? I like drawing a lot of like dragons and stuff, so probably one of them. Any other comments? Mm -hmm. like Hello, Mrs. Moore. Hi. What do you think of Victoria? What do I think about Victoria? Victoria is a wonderful person. I know that um, I had the pleasure of her being in my class last year for English, and one of the first things that strikes me about Victoria is how kind she is to people and how intelligent she is. I loved all the creative projects that she did. She was so wonderful in how she presented, how she put the project together. She was a team leader. She always had something kind to say to everybody and was always inclusive of people. So. For Victoria, I really respect her so much because of everything that she presents to people, her friendship to people, her the kindness, the intelligence that she expresses in class, and also her creativity. What was your favorite thing about Victoria? I think my favorite thing about Victoria is her warmth and how kind she is because she is include she includes everybody and she always was so you know, for a student to come up to a teacher and to be kind and to be, res well, students are kind and respectful, but Victoria treated a teacher as a person, that they were someone that she could talk to if she had a question or someone that she could feel comfortable with. And I think I really, I respected that, how she included everybody in projects, that she was very kind and how she, um, treats everybody with respect and kindness. What do you think of Victoria and her friends? She's great. She has so many friends and I think that um, I really noticed last year in class that she um, could have a really good time with people and to uh, that she has a great sense of humor and that people respect her and really um, respect who she is as a person and um, admire her as a friend, so that's how I see her with her friends. Anything else you would like to say? Anything else I would like to say? I feel that I am a very lucky person to have had Victoria in my class and that I still get to see her, so, and wish her nothing but good things in life. Thank you. Mom. Hello. When did you meet Victoria? Um, last year. <laughs> what do you think of Victoria? She's a cool person. How many she can do good conversation. How many classes do you have with her? Um, three. Any other comments about Victoria? Um, we both like anime. And if we're going to make one, we will. Hello, Rachel. Hi. Okay, we have some questions here about Victoria Garrity. Mm -hmm. How long have you known Victoria? I've known her since first or second grade. Do you see her as a sister in any way? Yeah, I see her as the closest sister so far. Has she helped you out? And if so, please examples. Yes, she has helped me out through my parents divorcings, 
she's helped me out through some of our friends trying to end their lives. Anything else you'd like to say? No. All right. But first, I will be interviewing Caroline, Kelly, and Gianna. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is probably dance. How long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing ever since I was in kindergarten. What's your favorite school subject? My favorite school subject is probably ELA. What's your favorite season and why? My favorite season would probably have to be either summer or winter because summer is really fun to hang out with your friends and go swimming, and in the winter, it's my favorite holiday, Christmas, and I like to go snowboarding. And Where is your favorite place to go? My favorite place to go is probably Florida or anywhere tropical in the winter. What is your funniest moment with Caroline? Um, probably last year when we at our social when we took a bunch of pictures on my other friend's phone. How and when did you become friends with Caroline? Um, I met her last year when I moved to Oak Ridge and we became friends then. Why do you think you and Caroline are such good friends? Probably because we have a lot in common and we get along really well together. Have you ever had an argument with Caroline? If so, how did you work it out? Um, I don't think I've ever had an argument with Caroline. What's your happiest moment with Caroline? When we went to the mall during Christmas time. What's the funniest thing that has ever happened to you guys when you were together? When Caroline lost her earring at the some things that make you and Caroline such good friends? Um, we have a lot of things in common and we get along great. How long have you and Caroline known each other? Probably about since like kindergarten. And now, everyone's favorite time, trivia! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Okay. Trivia! First question. How many teeth does Caroline have? Two. Two. Nope. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> What preschool did Caroline go to? Ooh. The Little Rainbow. Hi, I'm Tatum Larichelle, and I'm here to tell you that Caroline will now be interviewing Kate and her friends Maggie and Kylie. What sports do you play? I play soccer, basketball, and lacrosse. What is the most recent movie that you watched? The most recent movie I watched is Scorch Trials. What is something that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Washington DC trip. What's something that you're proud of? Um, last year, the basketball and soccer teams I was on both finished in the top ten in the state. Too cool! How long have you been friends with Kate? Since last year. How would you describe Kate in one word? Chill. What's your best memory with Kate? Can't be! <laughs> what is the funniest thing that happened to you and Kate when you were together? Uh, we were at Six Flags and we were in, like, um, we were in this water park and these boys winked at us. It's kind of funny. <laughs> How long have you known Kate for? Since I was like two. If you could describe Kate in one word, what would it be? Probably like trustworthy. What is your best memory with Kate? Um, we went to South Carolina this year for a week, so that's pretty fun. What is your worst memory with Kate? Um, well wait, I moved I moved to North Carolina before first grade. And that was pretty bad because we were both like crying and stuff. Now we're going to interview Tatum. Now I'm here interviewing Tatum Marichelle. What sports do you play? Um, I play soccer and lacrosse. What is something you look forward to in the year to come? Um, I'm really excited for summer. What is your favorite TV show? Um, I love Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Favorite thing to do in the summer? My favorite thing to do in the summer is probably go to the boardwalk with some friends because usually everyone is there from school. How would you describe Tatum in one word? Enthusiastic. <laughs> what lacrosse team did Tatum play for last year? Elevate. What is Tatum's favorite food? Fries from McDonald's. <laughs> what is your best memory? My best memory with Tatum is probably um, <laughs> going or we snuck onto a beach and we almost got caught. But it was really fun. It was really scary. Where did you meet Tatum and how old were you? Oh, when we were two years old and we lived next to each other. 
What is your best memory with Tatum? When we went to Waterloo Valley for <laughs> four days and um, we went skiing. And now our surprise guest, our Eric Aldridge! <laughs> Wait, let me zoom in on your face. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Describe Tatum in one word. Happy. What food does Tatum hate the most? Fruit. And now we're going to interview Mr. Duffany. Oh, hello. Who's Mr. Duffany? I've never heard of this Mr. Duffany. My name is Bob. <laughs> Why is your biggest pet peeve? Well, I have a lot of pet peeves. Um, perhaps my biggest one is being interviewed. Oh. <laughs> what is your most recent accomplishment? Well, my most recent accomplishment is probably being asked to do this interview. It's quite an uh, honor. What is something that no one knows about you? Well, um, I hate to admit it, but um, I secretly love glitter. I have piles and piles of it at home. I roll in it, I play with it. I put it on the wall. It's really delightful. I love, love <gasps> Oh. What is your favorite dance move and show it? Well, my favorite dance move is, is one from a while back. It's not hitting the quan or whipping or nay naying. It's the shopping cart. Let oh. me demonstrate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, super okay, Mr. Duffany, do you have anything else to add? Well, I'm not sure who this Mr. Duffany is, but he sounds terrific. He sounds like a wonderful human being. My name, however, is Bob. And I think instead of listening to me, we'll turn to our uh, friend George Washington uh, for a couple of final thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Kate, Tatum, and Caroline. We hope you enjoyed our news broadcast. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hello, I'm Dylan Riley. I've been Hannah's friend for a while now. We met this year, actually, and uh, we've actually became really close. We threw some really lit parties. <laughs> Her dog's pretty cool. The movie The Walk, it was a it was a good movie. One of our classmates, Colin, starred in it. It was a good time. I'm friends with all of her friends, but we even though we went to different schools, we didn't know about each other until this year. And we've just been really good friends since. How do you think of Hannah as a teammate? Um, I think I really enjoy playing basketball with Hannah. We always have the funnest times that we always like carpool together. Yeah, carpool and so It's fun and we like um we play like the same position so we like play together nice. I'm here to talk about Madison. I called her every name that began with M last year except Michael. She's lovely. She's lovely. She has really pretty hair, which I've always admired, and good freckles. She also was a very attentive student, both in my science classes and in the best homeroom in the whole world, A203. She's got a wicked good sense of humor. She has good attendance. She has lots of friends. And she seems to like school. People think she's quiet, but they're wrong. She's really, really noisy and really, really fun and has a great smile. And I would take her back in a heartbeat. Okay, so Madison is my best friend, and we met back in sixth grade at the Wing School. She was new, she came from Sacred Heart, and then we've just become best friends since then. And me and Madison hang out a lot, and my favorite thing that I've ever done with her is go to an Ed Sheeran concert at Gillette Stadium a few weeks ago. And then we stayed at a hotel after, and it was really fun. And yeah, she's a great friend. How do you think of Sarah as a teammate? Sarah's a good teammate because she passes the puck. She's really good at digging defensemen out. She has a good shot. Yep. What do you think Sarah's best at? 
in field hockey? Um, I think Sarah's really good at passing and moving the ball around. Okay. Is she a good teammate? No. Yes, I am. Yeah, she is. I'm amazing. Yeah, she is. How long have you guys been playing field hockey? Um, I don't know, like since September. Yeah, <laughs> me and Sarah have been friends since um, third grade. And she's like my best friend. Mm -hmm. And we do almost everything together. And <laughs> I don't know, I need to be comfortable. And every year I bring her out onto my boat and we usually get like smoothies and milkshakes at the country club that I remember that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and then last weekend we broke an arcade game. <laughs> By mistake, oh by putting too many tokens in it <laughs> and bumping it. <laughs>
Well, in fifth grade, we became friends at recess when you and Lila came up to me and asked if you like if I like the Giants. Remember that? No, no, I don't. Just, yes, it was a fifth grade. That's a great memory. Okay, what are some good <laughs> memories you have of me? Well, when we went to your friend's beach and we went kayaking and fell over <laughs> the sharks, <laughs> and we made videos of, a da of us dancing in your room. Oh, no. <laughs> We were like a nine. Yeah, that was an embarrassing time. Okay. Um, what um, do you love most about me? My personality. That's a pretty great trait, isn't it? My name is Colin Markovicius and I'm on Team A of the 7th grade here on the STEM Academy. I play th three sports, hockey, baseball, and golf. My favorite is baseball and I'm on a travel team, the Dugout Dogs out of uh, Hyannis. And my favorite accomplishment so far playing baseball is going to Cooperstown with some of my teammates in August last year. I play golf all around the Cape with my friends and teammates from baseball all the time. And I play hockey for the uh, Bantam A uh, Sharks team from Cape Cod Canal. And I'm looking forward to a great year at STEM this year. Hi, my name is Colin, and this is my math teacher, Mr. Eldridge. Hi. Um, what do you like most about me, Mr. Nothing. Eldridge? <laughs> I haven't found a single redeemable quality about you. Thanks. I guess you have a cool shirt. I like sharks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what is my favorite? What's my best math trait? In, in in class. You usually show up. <laughs> what's so fun about showing up? It's better than not showing up, Colin. So you said, what is your best math trait? I don't have a lot to choose from, so we kind of have to go with showing up. Okay. What is your favorite act? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, you think just loud. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm in the eighth grade and I enjoy to play soccer. Also, Andy's mac and cheese is a great time. Hi, I'm Catherine. I have been dancing for 10 years, dancing classical ballet, until recently I started doing lyric. Oh hey there, my name is Matt Mandy. I'm in the 8th grade, and I enjoy balling up on the daily. Also known as playing basketball. Classe es Espanol, or my favorite class is Spanish. Because if I ever meet someone that's Spanish speaking, then I'll have an idea of what they're saying. I'm Catherine, and my favorite class is gym because it's very social and active and it's nice to get outdoors. Hi, math is my favorite subject. My teacher's awesome and I've learned a lot. I love me some pepperonis, and I guess the rolls are cool too. Hello, uh, I'm, my name is Dylan Riley, and uh, we are here with Mr. Eldridge, my 7th grade math teacher. That's right. And I'm going to be interviewing him today. Okay, so my Pleasure first question. Here. Yeah. My first question is, what is your favorite thing about me? You know, it's tough to choose just one thing. There's so many. Uh, as many of you know, Dylan was my favorite student last year. I've, uh, you know, told everyone who asked me that. I think my favorite thing about Dylan is his understated sense of humor. You know, he's just a kid who gets it. You know what I mean? Just uh, made me laugh in the morning. Just always there watching, laughing, uh, having a good time. Always in a good mood, you know? It's just uh, really easy to get along with. Thank you. You're welcome. My other question is, if you had one word to describe me, what would it be? Effervescent. Don't know what that means. I'm not sure I do either. Uh, and our last question is, memory. what was your greatest memory of you? There we go. Greatest memory of you? Refresh my memory a little bit. All my students kind of blend together. What are some things you did? Mm. You play soccer? Yeah, I played soccer. 
you uh, field day was had great fun. Field, field day, day. Was fun. That was awesome. Yeah. I think that might be one of my favorite memories was watching Tim drag you through yeah. the field. Practicing. And Practicing. We, ne we never even got to go. That was my worst memory of field day. It was yeah. the fact that we should have won five events because Dylan and Tim were obviously going to win the wheelbarrow race. They were practicing it. They were killing it. It was unbelievable. But then we ran out of time. So we should have had five wins. We should have won by even more. So I guess the greatest memory is just the, uh, the awesome energy that you brought to field day. You and most of my other homeroom students too. That was, a, that was my best memory of the year because I like winning and you helped me do that. So, Mr. Eldridge, nice remember when we beat you? At Tug of War? Um, right, well, we won the whole thing. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember when you beat me at Tug of War. What's the scoreboard though? <laughs> the scoreboard? <laughs> no. The, uh, it's morning. like Eldridge, you know, win. Loss, win, win, loss, win, win, loss. And your room is more like loss, 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 loss. Win. Win. <laughs> that was an awesome <laughs> and, then, and then you made Good the question, Catherine. The you, know, you know what? I'm just glad to see that you're actually contributing something to the group. Because I thought you were just going to sit there all the time. And no, you proved me wrong. Okay, you so came in there with a question. Now you can uh, freestyle if you want. Freestyle? Okay, well, Dylan Riley is my favorite student from last year. Um, it's just like, what's not to like about this kid? You know, he, he works hard, he wants to do well, he's motivated, he's funny, he's likable, just an uh, all-around awesome kid. And I think that you should give him an A on this project. If for no other reason, then he's cooler than everyone else in the class. So that's what I have to say about Dylan Riley. Pleasure being interviewed by you. Great job. Hi, we're here with Drew Contra. And Drew, how did we meet? Um, we met because Bella and Becca, our sisters, have always been friends. And I was like, I was forced to hang out with Matt. I like Jack more. <laughs> I like Jack more. Yeah. So, Drew, question two. Why do you like me? Uh, I like you because you are very energetic and you've always been a good friend of mine for a long time. And uh, we've had lots of adventures together. So, Drew, what are some words to describe me? Uh, weird, funny, energetic, more weird. <laughs> okay, Drew, what are some things we've done since we've been friends? Um, me and Matt have been on the same soccer and basketball team for a very long time, and we have grown closer with each other. Like, um, like, like... MTOC in soccer tournaments and also basketball tournaments far away. A lot of sleepovers. A lot of sleepovers have happened. Matt like, lives in my house. Yeah. Thank you for letting me interview you, Drew. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Miss Cahill. She teaches news to me for STEM. Mm -hmm. And you teach English in the high school, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're going to answer them as honestly as possible. Sounds good. All right, first question. What was your first impression of me? Oh, boy. Um, my first impression of you was that you were very quiet. You just kind of sat in the back of my room, and say. you didn't say too much for a long time. But then eventually you warmed up, but my first impression was that you were just very quiet. Very quiet in the back corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what was your fondest memory last year? I think one of my favorite memories of your class was when you guys would stay and eat lunch in my room. Those were always fun times. You guys, your, your group, your class was very like bonded. And I was like, I loved your class. And I remember when you guys would stay and eat lunch in my room. And we always had fun. I, I, that was one of my best memories of your class. All right, and the last question is, um, what are three words to describe me? that you would use? Oh boy, I guess they have to be nice. <laughs> um, you are very intelligent, you are very kind, and you are certainly very fashionable. I always used to comment, I'm sure you remember, on your outfits. So yes, those would be my three words for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming.